How to talk to girls for dummies. Now, I personally don't need this, but I'm very curious to see the lessons being taught, right? I want to see if there may be some techniques we could apply to our day-to-day -day, uh, um, courting activities. <laughs> so let's get locked in to see what's cooking. Just holding hands, you almost bust a damn nut, let me tell you. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Little Caesar, she looks hot and ready. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Like the, the beast within, just looking at its prey, looking at its meat. A lot of people recently have been asking me the same question. Rhino, how do you stay so sexy? Okay, maybe they don't ask that. But what they do ask me is, Rhino, how do I talk to girls? I'm nervous around my crush. I never know what to say. I run out of things to say. How do I- Hey man, that take me back to grade seven, man. I remember, boy, no, not even grade seven. I'm gonna say grade, grade five. I had my first girlfriend in grade five, man. Ooh, man, that was a Mickey Mouse uh, relationship. Let me tell you, that was Mickey Mouse's f I thought I was spitting mad game, but <laughs> ain't nothing was coming out, to be honest. There was some elementary shit. Just holding hands, you almost bust a damn nut, let me tell you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get a little bit of haptics on the palm, it's like, uh, uh. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. <laughs> that might be TMI. I'm going to edit that out. I get a girlfriend. Today, Noah and I are going to be giving you our 10 patented tips on how to talk to girls. That way, you will not be nervous around your crush, and you'll know exactly what to say. Let's go. Listen, y'all don't need... The first and most important tip is you need to fix your appearance. You could be saying the most coolest stuff, but if you're built like a melted candlestick, <laughs> nobody's going to want to talk to you. If you're trying... Okay, he's on to something there. I, at first, I thought they were going to give some bullshit advice, but if this is advice step number one, very good. I'm just going to say it while we're here in terms of fixing your appearance. Skincare, bro. If you ain't on a skincare routine, I don't care how, like, bro, don't be a fool, man. Don't think it, men don't need to do that shit. Hop on a skincare routine. I'm going to make a video, actually. Show y'all my routine, man. Obviously, I'm going to add my own little flair to the tutorial, but I'm going to show y'all what I do when I hop out the shower and before I go to bed, man. I got y'all covered. We going we going to get we going to cross the finish line together, man. Let's go. Trying your hardest to say the funniest and best pickup lines, but you're built like the Mucinex man. And you're on Tinder trying to be funny and trying to be all creative, trying to be a stand-up comedian. But come on, bro. Look at yourself. You're built like a sandbag. <laughs> and you're on hinge right now buying roses, sending them out Jeez. left and right like you're the flower boy. You be in LA <laughs> seeing the people on the side of the road selling roses. You want a rose? You want a rose? That's you right now. Yo. You're doing all that, but you're built like a melted twig. <laughs> <laughs> melted Twix that was left out on the sidewalk in a hundred degree sun. Jesus. Melted, but like skinny. But like, you know what I mean? Like, brother, uh, like that's you. So before you start obsessing Bro. over talking tips and pickup lines, fix your outward appearance. I feel first. attacked, fix man. Fix your fashion, fix your physique. If you want us to make a whole fashion video, we'll do that next. So hey, y'all, maybe I should do a fashion video too, man. Show y'all all the peasant clothes I got. I don't actually have peasant clothes, but from my cooking... What the f*** is my camera doing, man? If you watch my cooking video, that was actually supposed to be like a a uh, a watch me get ready kind of video. I was going to show you all my like my fits and shit. They trust me, they ain't nothing to show, but that's the kind of video I was going to do. But now that the cooking video is done, I might actually still do the fit video, man. I shop cheap, but it looked good, right? I find you got to know how the how color accents work, how to combine three different colors together, keep it in the same app accent family. Hey, like I'm a very simple dude, man. Like I don't need to wear, I don't need to spend too much. But I'm gonna pull an outfit together. It's all about how you pull it together, and not what you spend. If some, if you worried about somebody checking your damn your name brand, it's GGs, man. Just put that in the comments and like this video because right now this is what you look like. God damn, you bad as shit. Holy fuck. Yeah, I've been wanting to talk to you all all semester. My favorite YouTuber is Nobo and Ryan. They um, <laughs> say like just talk to more people, so I'm like Jesus. Talk to you and shit. You're super bad. You're super bad. You're beautiful. Uh, um, like, <laughs> would you um, like, would you be down to like uh, grab food or something? Like, grab grab some sort of grub or whatever. Like, we just grub or whatever. Just like get whatever. Like in and out. Um, cane. Jesus. Tip number two. <laughs> you care too much. Why are you so concerned about if they thought you were funny? Why do you care if they think? Oh, I want this girl to think I'm cute. She doesn't think good I'm advice. cute. Good advice. Oh no. Why do you care? Are they God? Is their opinion just the end all be all? Okay, so the one That's girl in your science class doesn't like you. Who cares? Why do you care? Like, newsflash, not everyone's gonna like you. I mean, this just happened to me. Listen, man, that's the key right there. This is the one that that, that make you a, a cut above the rest. This is gonna put you on some fiend time, man. Divine levels of, of, of self-confidence. That shit gonna make you look like Adonis to these women, let me tell you. I'm actually very impressed with the advice so far. Like, it actually is some good advice that helps you along the way. Me personally, I learned these from trial and error. I ain't, I, I'm not about to sit here and tell y'all I didn't have some, some, um, 
cringy ass relationships. I, I had my days, man. There were some girls said that <laughs> they caught me when I had no game, man. They could probably share some stories of me being cringy. So I had to fail to learn stuff like this. But I used to care too much as well until I got to a point where I hit like demon time and I, I stopped giving a shit. But it's good that people got a video like this to kind of show you. But at the same time, even if you watch this video, it ain't going to hit until you feel it. You got to feel this shit. You got to go out into the damn vanguard and fight the battle yourself. The girl I was just talking to wasn't really feeling me. It's like people have vision problems. Not everyone can see. It's OK. These things happen. Yeah. The biggest problem here is you're in your own head. You're freaking out because you're too deeply invested into the scenario, into a certain girl, into a certain outcome that you want. This is literally what you look like when you're in front of a girl that you think is cute. Yeah, well, I actually just dyed my hair. I'm not a big fan of Dairy Queen, but I'm looking at a <laughs> lizard right now. Damn. She looks good. Holy shit. It's wabbit season. I hope she thinks I'm handsome. She probably wouldn't even go for a guy like me. Oh my god, she looks good. <laughs> Holy shit. I hope she likes black guys. Oh wow. She probably likes white guys. Damn it. <laughs> she can see that I'm sweating. Oh man. Come on, Ryan. Don't sweat in front of her. You're acting weird. You're acting weird. She thinks you're weird. Oh. Man, I hope they can get her number. Oh. I'm laughing because yo, I got a sweating problem, man. But I learned to control it. But like when I'm uncomfortable, I sweat a lot, man. So I feel this pain. Man, I was too nervous to ask for a number yesterday. I gotta ask for a number now. You no, know, I I really do think that's cool that you're like in the um that type of stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Salt the roads. The blizzard is coming. Oh, she looks good. Holy shit. Oh, man. She's looking like a creamy <laughs> the vanilla soft spit. The water cream. coming off his mouth. Oh, my God. Cake on top. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Little Caesar. She's looking <laughs> hot and ready. Yeah, is, it, um, is it getting hot in here? The Pardon rolling the eyes. Be, <laughs> sometimes I'll get heat flashes where it's like, I can't control it. Like, sometimes it doesn't matter how hot it is. Like, What's the UV index today? It's like 100 or 5 or something. Like, I, it's crazy what it is. I think it's 90, but it feels like 110. Okay. <laughs> Tip number three. You need to make better eye contact. Oh, this is key advice, man. This is key advice. It took me, it took me a solid while to really crush eye contact. And even now, like, I, 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 I think it depends on the person that you're talking to, to be honest where eye contact becomes like a bit iffy. There's some people like, not like not girl wise, but like in general, like at work, there's some people I just can't look at eye to eye for a long period of time. It just feels weird. That <laughs> that's what it is. Okay. Like, so <laughs> if I'm, if I'm having like a one-on-one -on -one with a, with a coworker or a manager, like my male coworkers and managers, like I have like this policy where after like four seconds, I got to avert my eyes. Like, briefly because it, it, it get it, you know what i'm saying it, 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 it's too deep you know what i'm saying it, i ain't trying to be like yeah like, you know what i'm saying like it, it's too much but um yeah once you master this this one is like the real this, this i feel like this is the one that kind of like pushes the mood the most because there's something about eye contact i don't know man there's something about it where like you it, it, it like grabs you into this dimension right and and, and suddenly you're like you, you could almost feel the hunger. You could feel the 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 sheer interest. You know what I'm trying to say? Like the the beast within, just looking at its prey, looking at its meat. Wait a minute. <laughs> look, 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 looking at its meal. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like eye contact really unleashes the beast, man. So if you pull it off, you're good to go, man. With a little smile too. Mm. If you can't make eye contact with a girl, she will be immediately turned off. Shy men are not attractive. I mean, just think about it. Why are you, as a man, scared of a 5'2", 105-pound blonde girl who works at Smoothie King? How is this <laughs> intimidating? But she's pretty, you know? She's pretty. I get nervous because she's pretty. If you yourself are already nervous and intimidated by this little girl, then why would she want to be with you if you're already scared of her? And you're scared of her, and she's looking for the confident king that can take care of her, protect her, show her off, and feel. <laughs> <laughs> nah, these dudes cracking me up right now. And safe at these functions, but yet she knows that you're scared of her. Why would she want to be with you? If anything, you need to flip the script. She needs to be shy around you. She needs to be wondering, Ooh, what does he think of me? I wonder if he likes me just as much as I like him. Uh. So the bottom line is, girls don't want a shy guy. Unless you're playing Mario Kart, that's the only time it's acceptable. But everybody already knows Yoshi's actually the fastest. So emphasis on the eye contact. You need to have good eye contact so that she knows that you're confident talking to her. And that's why your mom's a hoe. Um, <laughs> tip number four, and I don't hear a lot of people talk about this one. Don't conform to her worldviews simply to appease her. And Ooh, having a spine, having an identity, having standards, knowing your worth, your value, all of these things consolidate into this tip. You know what I'm saying? Don't change the way you think 
so easily. You know what I'm saying? Show that you have your own worldviews that you believe in just as strongly, man. So that there's mutual respect. I like this one, man. There's too many people that... Yo. There's too many people that change themselves for girls right away, man. I lost some good friends for that. I can't lie to you. I lost some good friends for that, man. They change their whole lifestyle just for some other person. It's like, bro, that cannot be healthy, man. It's, it, it shouldn't be that way. It's, it's supposed like a, a, a union is supposed to be complementative, if that's even a word. Like it shouldn't take away from what you were. It should add to it. You know what I'm saying? Add to it or make what it is better. But anyway, let's keep it pushing. And what do I mean by that? Well, she's gonna have a bunch of opinions, thoughts, views on things, preferences, and so are you. What a lot of men do is they hear a girl say something and then they think, I have to agree with her. I can't have an opposing view. But whatever she says is right. I don't wanna offend her. Mm. But actually in doing that and trying to appease her and bow down to her worldview, she's actually gonna be turned off because you don't have any opinions of your own and you can't stand on anything. Yes, if you man. potentially disagree <clears throat> with her on something or you live your lifestyle differently from her, stand on that. Don't just bend to her whims and whatever she says goes and she's right and you're right i should think about things like that if you can find commonalities great but don't be a pushover and act like this usually on the weekends Good stuff. And stuff i love <coughs> watching football i love going to soccer games like mls yeah i don't know i just think soccer is kind of boring sports and all that i don't like it yeah, that's they it are. they literally are <laughs> they're boring as fuck like soccer is way more boring like i could <laughs> yeah i don't know if it's really now me personally if if something i'm interested in they say nah that is not my body in my brain, I'm already saying, all right, I'm sending that text later on. Once this date is over, uh, it was a great experience. I'm out. <laughs> At this point, the date's just on autopilot. I'm just there to finish the experience. But it's like, yeah, we don't have that commonality. It's GG's, man. Really score any points. Exactly. Like, why am I going to watch a sport game if they, like, score two points? I just think it's kind of dumb. Facts. And I feel like literally every guy I've met who watches sports, they're like a walking red flag. Duh, like, literally. Yeah. <laughs> like, gym and sports and all that <laughs> stuff. It's like, they have nothing better than Say gym. Right, it's like, you're a grown man watching other men wrestle in tight white pants. Like, what? No, for real. Stupid. <laughs> like they're always just like douchebags. Those type of guys are the worst. Oh, nah, say, not the pick me. Like, jewelry is sick. Like the ring oh, and the thank necklace. thank you. I love silver. I'm more of a, I got some gold, I got some necklace oh. and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like gold's kind of tacky. Nah, yeah. I, I would personally, I would never wear gold, but it's yeah. kind of ugly. Yeah, because, like, yeah, no, I feel that. Because, like, I've actually been more. Hey, like, let me, uh, just, let me put y'all. Yo, can, can my camera stop doing this? I know my camera, it gonna bug out, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it gonna bug out during this video. What's going to happen is one side is going to freeze and the other side is going to keep moving. It always happens. Um, gold on black people. Trust me, man. All my black niggas stand up because you know what I'm talking about. Gold on black people is regal as f man. I don't wear silver at all. You'll never see silver on my body, man. Gold or bus. Trust me, man. You see all this carrot? You see all this melanin? Come on, man. I just bought a bunch of silver stuff. It's more of like, I think the silver brings out more of my skin tone. Yeah, it complements your skin tone. Yeah, these I literally just, I just, that's like trash. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Number five, don't pedestalize the girl that you're talking to. Hate to break it to you, but we're all equal. Just because someone is attractive doesn't mean they're better than you. Hey man, this is a tricky one to fall into. I can't lie to you. This is a tricky one to fall into, but once you, you know what really helped with this, to be honest? I want to say dating apps really help with this. Like a lot of guys, sh I hope a lot of guys benefited from this tip from dating apps. Because after enough trial and error, man, you get to a point where you, <laughs> you don't even see them no more, man. Like they could have the best fit on, the perfume on point, the makeup solid as f <laughs> Nigga, I will walk past you like I didn't see you, man. What? Why I say dating apps should help with this is because like you scroll through especially if you're in a dense metropolitan area you gotta everybody look good on me like it gets to a point where good is now good is now the expectation like it everybody almost damn near looked the same they got the same makeup style the same hair so now the differentiator ain't even looks for me personally when i'm you know on my little my escapades the differentiator is interests and personality man and i know that sounds uh, corny but I am being dead ass, man. You could like, I don't see, but like you, you see everybody that looks good. Like, I don't even see it as, oh my God, this is a 10. Like, no, like it's in my brain that everybody literally looks like this. Now I need to know what you're about. That, that, that's what sets, you know what I'm saying? 
So that's how it helped me to no longer pedestalize people. Because your looks do nothing for me, man. Obviously, I, I, I would enjoy to see... I would enjoy to... I would like to have somebody, someone I enjoy looking at. But it's not the end-all be-all. You know what I'm saying? Once you get to that point, man, I feel like me personally, it feels great, man. Because you now know what you're looking for. So someone could have the best looks. They give you dry energy on an app unmatched right away and you feel no pain man and that's one of the best feelings man it's like god damn i'm not beholden to being like you know oh my god she's too attractive to unmatch now that shit you gone <laughs> People have problems and flaws just like you and me. The reason you can't talk to girls is because you think they're better than you in some way. And you're trying so hard to impress them. But have you ever thought maybe they should try to impress you? Word. What are your standards? Come what on. You want? Because talk right to now, me. It looks like this. You're behaving like she's superior to you. So instead of trying to treat her like a superior, treat her like an equal. During the conversation, I you should be asking her questions to see if she's qualified to be with you. And here's an actionable way yep. that you can use what Noah was just talking about in a conversation. You think you're down here and you're treating her like, well, what do you want? And how, how do you feeling well yeah whatever you want i'm interested in you i've done something where i've asked a girl oh how often do you party how often do you club or mm. how often do you drink or whatever and then the girl will say oh here and there I'll, I'll do it every weekend or whatever and then i'll say back yeah i never really date or talk to girls that party a lot it's just not my thing and then the girl will say oh i don't party that much and right there you shifted it from you trying to appease her to her being like oh no i'm actually not, i don't party that often no, no no and they try to meet your standards mm. so it's not a matter of you having to sit there i love but a psychology like, going on here table and this and that not like that it's more about being subtle with it but letting the girl know that you have some standards or expectations or things that you like and don't like and if they can't meet it oh well then maybe you're not the girl for me tip number six slow it down why are you in a rush it's perfectly fine to have moments of silence <laughs> in a conversation now now hold on now hold on here's the thing though here's the thing and y'all know me already y'all know me to some degree now you like y'all don't know me know me but you know my videos i like to talk man i don't like to talk to it, it's weird like once I get in my, my yap spree, I'm talking. But I don't like to talk too much throughout a day, right? I like to save all my energy throughout like the daytime, the afternoon, and then in the evening. I'm I'm just going crazy with it. One thing I can kind of one thing I can verify on dates. <laughs> on dates, I promise y'all, man, I don't shut up. Now, not in a bad way, but like the same way I'm on these videos. Like the same remarks I would have, like the 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 stupid remarks and just stupid shit I say. That is literally me, man. Like I talk, I text the way I talk, I talk the way I text. I date the way I like this is genuinely me, man. That's why my videos are never scripted. Like I, I got no script. Like everything is I'm always speaking off the dome every time. Like I hit record, I sit here and I, everything that comes to my mind is just like pop, 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 because my brain is always just it's just always thinking some stupid shit. So this is one where uh, th this is good advice. But if you're the kind of person where you have like like you're it's easy for you to talk. You don't have to slow down too much. Don't over like definitely always leave room for people to speak like you, you always want to ask questions. You don't want to. My policy is I shouldn't be talking more than 30 seconds. If I'm talking more than 30 seconds in one go, I'm yapping. So I try to keep that in mind. And by the time I get to that 30th second, I don't always count, but you can kind of like build a muscle memory when you hit that second. That's when you'd be like, what about you? Like, like, what's your what's your vibe? And then you just let them yap. You let them talk more than you and you're golden, man. GG's. <laughs> it is what it is. The more words you say, the less weight each word holds. When you talk too much, you come across like you can't control yourself, and the girl's gonna feel exhausted after talking to you for 10 minutes. Yep. Your conversation game can be improved immensely just by asking the right questions. So instead of asking basic things like, what's your major? What are your hobbies? Where did your younger sister go to college? Instead of asking questions that provoke a one-word response, ask deep questions that they can only answer by going into a long monologue. Because when you talk too much and too fast, this is what you look like. But speaking of TwitchCon, it's like really fascinating that there's like a big <laughs> community where like every single person has come together and we all get to celebrate like the power of live streaming because like bro, I've always wanted to be a streamer but like if I started streaming like I feel like I have like the personality to do it, don't you think? <laughs> Awkward. Anyways, I don't know, I just don't really know who to ask and the fact that you're here right now, I just thought that like you could kind of help me out. I don't have the money to even afford this stuff so I was thinking like maybe if like you let me hang out with you like maybe I could like use your streaming setup. I'm gonna sing because I don't know what to talk about. But I'm Tip oh seven, my god. This one might be controversial. Wipe that smile off your face. Hold on. I was always complaining about how do I get out of the friend zone? She, she put me in the friend zone. Because you're acting like her friend. You're being too friendly. You're smiling. Hold on. Smiling too much. You're being Hold on though. Hold on. 
This one is controversial. This one is controversial because a smile is a dangerous weapon, man. Remember when I told y'all about eye contact earlier? Eye contact and a smile is a dangerous weapon, boy. I don't know. This one is controversial because if you give it there, there's different kinds of smiles. Now, if you give him the goofy smile, then you're cooked. It, it, you're really cooked at that point. But there's that smile where it's hard to it's hard to describe the smile, but this is my best bet at describing it. It's that smile where it's like a mischievous smile. You know what I'm saying? Where somebody sees something they like and they and they're they're thinking something and they smile. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, calm down, Jamal. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Like the the very he up to no good smile. That's the smile I want to do. Now, why, why am I saying it like I, <laughs> bro, don't listen to me, man. I got, I got no game, man. I'm telling you all right now. I got no game. Don't take my word. But this is a controversial one, though. I, I could agree with that. Being too happy. When you're hanging out with her, you're so giddy and excited. Like it's the best day ever. Maybe just act normal around her. And act oh, I like see what he's saying. Your brother. Or act like you're hanging out. I see what he's saying. And y'all just chilling. So what I'm not saying is that you can't smile. But what I am saying is you can't be so jittery and excited to the point where you look like a fanboy. Because she's going to get the impression Got that it. she's above you and you're I see lower. what he's saying. Think about it like this. If you were a dog, what breed would you be? What breed? Bro, that's a good question. What the f***? Hold on. I don't even know, to be honest. Like, f dogs? In my opinion, man, dogs don't even be vibing like that, man. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Like, I, I, I'm trying to think about dog energy, and I don't have the energy of dogs, man. Like, it, it just ain't a vibe. I'm more of a bird kind of person, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'd be a seagull, easy. Like, no cap, I would be a seagull, man. But dogs... Yeah, they too submissive. That's what it is, man. I'm not a submissive person, so I, I can't really, I, I, I can't align myself with a dog, unfortunately. Do you act like if everyone on planet Earth got transformed into dogs, what type of dog are you? Are you like a beagle? Are you like a Yorkshire Terrier? I mean, look at yourself. Are you a Rottweiler? Are you a pit bull? I could be are a Rottweiler. Puffy little Pomeranian German dogs, Shepherd. Teacup Pomeranian. I'd be seeing those at Beverly Hills all the time. Jesus. Like, those in their person. like a is marshmallow. That kind of dog that you act like? I think a lot of y'all act like that. Because when you're too smiley, too giddy too happy you look like spongebob and no girl is trying to smash spongebob i'm sorry tip number eight and i know this one's gonna be hard for a lot of y'all avoid complimenting a girl on her beauty and appearance women get told every single day by every single guy how beautiful they are and when they open their phone they see all the compliments you're sending all these heart eye emojis but you're pretty much just sending them into oblivion that's a good one that's a good one i try to compliment the fit if i got nothing else going on but i can't lie to you man i can't lie to you it'd be tough man they don't really give you much. They don't give you much to work with, man. Some people got profiles that only got dots. <laughs> the profiles only got dots and shit. Like, you literally got nothing to go on. Like, it, I don't even know how you open a conversation with a profile like that. But I think he is talking about more of an in-person interaction. And in that case, yeah, I definitely, it's a lot easier in person to avoid giving physical compliments for sure. Like, you could say something like, oh, you know, earrings looking solid, perfume, yep. Good smile kind of thing, but, but hey, if, it's, if a guy is being like, damn, ooh, them tits looking fat, <laughs> like, hold on now, bro. Hold on. We got to back up. You're getting put with all the other thousands of hard eyes that were sent in her DMs by every other guy. It doesn't hold any weight. I would advise just to lay off compliments in general. I mean, do you give your boys compliments every two minutes when your boys are playing the video game? Are you going, bro, you're so smart. You're so good. And if you are going to give her any compliments, compliment her on something about her character, her work ethic, her degree. Go, oh, I just saw you start up that business. That's super cool. Something deeper than just her outward appearance. And here's yep. what the issue is. You're so quick to send out all these hundreds and thousands of compliments to all these random girls on your explore page that don't even care about you. But when's the last time you gave your mom a compliment? I mean, really think about it. You should be telling your mom that she's beautiful. Give it a try. I'm sure she would really appreciate it. And just last night, I was with your mom and told her how beautiful she was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on now, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Easy there, bro. <laughs> don't make me hop in the screen for you, man, because we just might get active. <laughs> but, and she hold seemed on. to really appreciate it. But um, yeah, just some food for thought. Hey, are you... um? Middle Eastern by any chance? Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. I can like Loki tell. Like Middle Eastern women have some of the most beautiful shaped faces and everything. Oh. Yeah, it's like, it's crazy because like Princess Jasmine is my favorite Disney princess. You actually look just like her. But, um. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Princess Jasmine was bad, but like, I mean, I've seen your physique, like you're built different. Like, <laughs> just. 
Like on paper, you'd be like a 10 out of 10. Like if we were just doing numbers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Damn. I'm not sure I never have been, but <laughs> 10 out of 10 for sure. I thought your Instagram was AI at first. Like, <laughs> you look unreal. Do you like oatmeal by any chance? Oatmeal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like oatmeal. I was about to say, because you are thicker than a ball of oatmeal. Whoa, Man, he's you know, laying it down. Once you go black, you never go back, or whatever they say. Once you go mixed, that thing's going to need to be fixed. But yeah, before we um, leave here, I had a crazy question. I was thinking about it the whole class. So are those real or like... And I was just asking because it doesn't matter if they're real or fake because... Like technically I'm a boob guy, but like I've been having sleeping problems recently and basically the pillows I have at home just don't work. So like I need stop. something to like lay my head on. Just so like, stop. Like, if they're real, that's, that's good because it's like more cushioned. But like, yeah, so no on the real or fake or... I should probably go. Okay, um, well yeah, have a good one. I'll see you around. Number nine. Yeah, there's definitely some people that like I was never this cringe, but I remember, man. You know what I'm saying? Early college days, fresh in Canada, just moved to a whole new country. I don't know what's going on, man. I used to try. I used to try and approach people on the college ground and and, and spit game, but ooh, ooh, let me. Ooh, shit! The cringe, the cringe, the cringe. But it had to be done. I had to get that phase out of my life, man. I tried. That's what I'm saying, man. You got to get out there and you got to fail, man. Like, I feel like you become your best self the more you fail. If I didn't fail as much as I did, I wouldn't have nearly as much confidence as I have now. Like, right now, I genuinely don't give a f <laughs> and I And I think that it's like I'm a conversationalist. I've always been one. And now I give less of a f So, like, yeah. The less f you give, the better it gets right but it, it, if you're worried about so many different things then you gotta fail you gotta fail to understand why you shouldn't worry to fail because you'll realize it's no big deal pretty much don't reveal too much stop revealing oh this is a great one and intentions and feelings towards her it's not a good look this is when a great you one that, you're letting her know that she's got you there's no more chase there's no excitement there's nothing left to mystery there's nothing left to her imagination where she can think oh does he like me after she's done hanging out with you she should be thinking hmm that was fun but i don't know how he feels about me i don't know if he likes me that much but unfortunately every time you hang out with her this is what you look like honestly i would 100 percent be down to link again like even though it's only an hour into us hanging out like, i mean if you're free <laughs> tomorrow technically i'm busy but like, I yeah like, you, would you be free tomorrow, like lunchtime or morning? I can do like a breakfast or something. No. Not for breakfast? You don't like breakfast? Here, let me get the door for you. Yeah, but whatever time you're free, I'd be down. Actually, I really can't. I swear, my mom would love you. Like, she... she. Oh, shit, not the mom. Nah, that's it. That's GG's. It's cooked. He always likes girls that have that sort of, you know, traditional background. Y'all would get along. So uh, I just told her about you. And she's like, oh, yeah, bring her by. Like, whenever. Like, my mom's from Ireland. So my mom would cook you, like, shepherd's pie or something. Like, I don't know if you've had that before. <laughs> Actually, I can't have that. I keep kosher. Oh, kosher. Oh, yeah. What does that mean? I just can't have other meat that's not kosher. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Because, like, my <laughs> meat is 100% kosher. Are you Jewish? I mean, I can be. Mazel tov. Hanukkah. So yeah, um, well, whenever you're free, just let me know, because I'm free Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and then like Saturday mornings, I'm pretty much free. Yeah, you know, I, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Perfect. I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> Tip number 10, and I'll be struggling with this one. Don't talk about other girls and exes while you're talking to her. While it... Mmm. <laughs> mm. Boy, listen, the X conversation is a dangerous one, man. I avoid that like the plague, but somehow they, they bring it up anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though you're actively trying to avoid it, some people for force you into the damn hole and you got to respond. So it's like, GG's, it's, I'm, I'm f It is good for a girl to know that you are capable of getting other women. Don't talk about that when you're on a date. When you talk about your other interactions with women in front of women, it makes the girl that you're with feel less important. Almost like there's some sort of commodity or they're just one of your girls and they don't want to feel like that. I'm on Hinge a lot. Tinder just no good success rate, but I've been on about like 20 dates on Hinge and I swear, all these girls are catfishes, especially this one girl that I brought over last night on Instagram, she looked like Sydney Sweeney. But when she came <laughs> to my crib, her face was given Will Ferrell and her body was given Lizzo. And I mean, she was Damn. taking up a lot of the bed space and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do it for the one time. It's a little more than I'm used to, but sometimes you just gotta do community service. So she still stayed the night, but you're way better than what that even was.
hit number 11, and I can't even believe I have to tell y'all this, never reveal that you've been broken up with or cheated on. I mean, if you were at a job interview and told the person you got fired from your last job, do you think they're gonna wanna hire you? The girl you're talking to might not know you that well, so I'm gonna be a bad guy for saying this, but it's okay to lie. It's okay to withhold. Hey, you gotta play chess, man. You gotta play chess. You can't show the whole hand. You know what I'm saying? You gotta play chess, poker, damn, um, uh, Monopoly, Connect Four. Don't show the whole hand. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D. Don't show the whole hand, man. You gotta play that shit meticulously. I'm telling you, he right information that makes you look like a cornball. Now your mom's gonna tell you, always be honest, just be yourself. The right girl's gonna come along and nope. love you for you. Nope. Sorry mom, I love you, but that's a big load of BS. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Hey mom gonna lead you astray. You can do that whole honesty thing. This is what it looks like. I'm just so happy that you're a better responder with our texts. Cause like, <laughs> girls don't be texting me back no more. The dating apps, they're brutal. I can't even get a match. Ooh. I probably swiped right on like 300 girls and not one match. I buy the roses, I have the Tinder your platinum, the hinge X, the bumble premium, <laughs> and still zero. I'm just swiping right all day and not a single soul has gotten back to me. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, man, ain't nobody gonna ever know my success rate on those apps, man. Nobody gonna ever know the truth. I ain't gonna tell you I succeed. I ain't gonna tell you I failed. You don't need to know that shit. That's between me and the damn apps, man. This dude killing me, say one match, yo. <laughs> and so apparently my ex wanted to break up with me because she said that we were like in different places and she wasn't looking for a relationship currently. Something about like she needed to go find herself. And then come to find out, she's hooking up with some basketball player on our basketball team. Some like six, seven dreadhead. It doesn't even make any sense. Say we dreadhead. Just like a week ago. <laughs> Tip number 12, and this is a big one, stop. Flexing. Discovery trumps disclosure. During your conversation, don't list off all your accomplishments, your accolades, all the cool things you do, your PR. Do not do that. So That's a good one, man. Here's the thing. I'm broke. Dead ass, man. I'm a broke nigga, y'all. I already told y'all I'm a Toronto broke, man. Toronto broke is a real thing. I list my aspirations and what I want to achieve, but I'm all like, uh, it's what I want. I never say what I have. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like that's a good angle to always sell yourself at, to show that you're somebody that is wanting a lot of things, but you don't necessarily need to air out what you have. So long as people know you want, that's good enough, man. At least for me. If I know somebody actually has plans and they're trying to work towards something, that's dope, man. But I don't need to know what you got. And don't worry about what I got. And we'll be a okay. <laughs> if you own a Lamborghini and you tell a girl, guess what? I have a Lamborghini. Want to see it? She's not going to be that impressed. But if the girl finds out that you have a Lamborghini without you having to say anything, it's going to be far more impressive. So you can share what type of hobbies, goals you have, things there you're you trying go. to do, but just don't show off. Because otherwise, you'll look like this. Have you ever talked to like a YouTuber before? Or uh, uh no, these are really nice. I want a plaque, man. Y'all help me out, man. What the yeah, fuck? Uh, no. Yeah, nothing crazy. What is it? <laughs> oh, my bad. followers across all platforms or something. I don't really know. Really cool. Should we um, sit? Oh, yeah. You can sit right there in the cow chair. Mm -hmm. ah. What do you think of the chair? It's pretty nice. Brazilian cowhide imported from Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't... Oof. Man, I, I've never told... Like, oof. Oof, man. I, I couldn't imagine being this kind of person, man. It's really interesting. I was never into foreign-made designer furniture, but when I saw it, I had to have it. Yeah, do they, like, harm the cow or something? Oh, no, these this is kosher. Yeah, but um, for some weird reason, these chairs are, like, five grand. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. It's crazy. These dirty shoes are, like, $700. Isn't that ridiculous? Like, the shoes look... Are there dirty, actually guys like this? regular shoes. Yeah. Actually, no, there, like, are, there, well, are, there are, there are, there are, there are. I'm doing the thing, so... It just feels like it's wearing and stretching. I'm getting real sick. And then, wait for it. I got my own full scene, just wow. me. Like, just straight shot on me. Cole was like, yo, we're gonna do a shot with just you, with this thing. I was like, whatever, like, I'll do it. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, this is a good video, bro. I just came across your channel literally like a video ago, and I'm enjoying the content, man. So, if you don't mind, lovely serve, love, love live serve, love live serve. I'm, I'm gonna add you to my rotation, bro. You got some good shit, man. I like it. Very entertaining watch, informative. This was some good tips too, man. I, I thought I was walking into a cringy video with cringy advice. Nah, those are all solid, man. I could tell these niggas that they went through their own journey to come across those answers. And, and those are usually the keys to success, man. They ain't bullshitting. But I would still say, even though they told you verbatim what to do, still go out there and experience those mistakes as well, man. Because you gotta, if you don't fail, 
you ain't gonna know what it's like man you gotta fail in order to succeed you gotta hit <clears throat> you gotta hit rock bottom to get to the top right if you never hit the bottom you won't know what it feels like to to, to climb you won't even know what it is to want to get to the top so I feel like everybody that hit success at some point in life, they were at the bottom of the barrel, man, to the point where the only the only way from where you were was up. That's kind of where I am right now, man. I'm at the bottom of the barrel in my life, so I'm trying to see what I could do with that. But yeah, man, definitely get out there and experience things yourself. Feel it out and don't let these apps ruin you, man. If you feel like you're getting burnt out, take a break, touch some grass and you're going to find the person, man. Like there's someone out there for everyone. I'm a firm believer in that. A very firm believer, to be honest, so. I don't doubt we all going to succeed. We're going to cross the finish line. So until then, stay strong. Enjoy the experience. Enjoy the ride. Meet new people. Learn new things. And you're going to get to where you need to go, man. I'm going to see you all for the next video. Peace out.